So Jamie and I are in Foxwoods. Say hi, Jay. Hello. And um, Foxwoods is a casino in Connecticut. We're here for an organic food show. And we just got done running. Yep. Beautiful outside, isn't it? It's gorgeous out today. Beautiful, beautiful run. I use my um, ultimate, uh, what is it? Ultimate di ultimate direction little hand bottle today, you know, thing you hold in your hand. That was cool. That was really cool, right? Yeah. I bought this in the wintertime for like 10 bucks, and you're like, something else? Something new? Something new. But right? it came in handy today. It came in real handy today. Everything you always buy comes in handy. I just never know when. When, right? <laughs> so I'll buy stuff and let it just sit there. It, yeah. It's so, it's so proper to have the right gear to run, right? It is. It makes it so much easier. So... You had a big accomplishment here. I'm looking at the Strava, because you're you're yeah, you're not really a tra trail runner. You do run a little bit of trails, but you run you do three miles out on the street. I do mostly street running. You do mostly I like trail running. I just don't do it very often. You cycle yeah. a, a little bit. You go to the gym a lot. Yeah. So I got a major accomplishment here. Guess what you yeah. did today in elevation gain? What? You did 965 feet in elevation gain wow. today. You rocked it out. I took you on a six mile trail run. And I was there last year. It was going up the mountain. Yeah. You could overlook Foxwoods and the lake. I wasn't telling you what you were in for, except after we did the one loop, I was like, we want to get up there. We want to look down. Mm -hmm. And it just went up and up and up, right? It did, yeah. You rocked out 965 feet. Wow. Now, when you look, when you look on Strava, somebody goes, oh, well, you, it's only a 500-foot mountain or a 1,000-foot mountain. How would you do 2,000 feet? Because Strava accounts for every time you go down and you have to go back up a little bit, that accounts for elevation gain because you actually gained elevation. So it's never from the point you start to the point you end, it's always the ups and downs in between gets accounted. So the mountain's only 300 feet here, but we started at like negative 11 feet sea level. I mean, it's, it's under sea level right, right around the corner here. Um, so you went up that, you went, we started there and went up and, you know, the ups and downs. How was it? It was okay. It was good. But the, I liked it. It was beautiful. Um, you know, I walked when I needed to walk. I ran right. when I needed to run. That's what people don't understand is when you're running up a mountain, you don't need to run up the whole thing. You can walk. And the best thing about trail running is? It's soft. It's soft, too. It's, it's soft. There was a lot of rocks lot and everything. Rocks, yeah. But the nice thing about, about, um, about trail running for me is I like to enjoy the view. So I, so I like to stop. I like to take a lot of pictures. I like to enjoy. I just don't like to run and not. That, that's road running. When, you road, when I road run, that's you road run and you road run, you don't stop. When you trail run, it's such a different pace because you're out in nature, and that's that's what really gets me. I love you were with me today, but I'll just sit there by myself for sometimes ten minutes. I'll just find a rock and just sit down and just enjoy and bring in and meditate. And that's what takes you so long. That's what it's like. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I come back four hours later from a run. Right. <laughs> but no, I I just find my 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 pace my my place on the mountain. I just sit there. I enjoy it for five minutes, sometimes ten minutes. I'll pull out a snack. Today we had we had this with us, so we didn't have I didn't have a backpack because we weren't going that far. But I'll bring a backpack. I'll bring snacks. You know, I'll bring a banana or dry bananas. I'll bring water. I'll bring you know some kind of some kind of snack and just sit there and just chill out and eat and just enjoy. And yeah. I think that's it. So do you have any advice for people that are that are working out? Because you you've been looking awesome lately. Thank you. You've been looking really really awesome. I've been doing a lot of different things. You know, I kind of change it up all the time. Um, you know, I do CrossFit. I do cycling. I do indoor stationary bike. I do road running. I do trail running. I do hikes. Um, you know, I, I think uh, I, I enjoy today's run. I think just getting out there and moving and doing stuff is super important. I try to do something almost every day, if not uh, five days a week. And uh, I used to be the person who didn't work out. So Your workout was shopping. Yeah, exactly. That's just when we met. Get, a, get and, out there and do stuff. I love being outside. I love working out. I love feeling good. Um, and when you are done and the accomplishment is done, it's pretty amazing. Right. That was just sitting, looking down over the mountain today. Yeah. It's a major accomplishment, right? It's pretty amazing. You're like, wow, this is just so breathtaking. It's an accomplishment that I ran up this mountain. For me, it's something like I conquered the mountain. It's like I'm a mountain man. I conquered that mountain right. for me. But, uh, you know, the thing of it is, is, you know, fine, you know, we're lucky because we do things together. Yeah. And I got to tell you, running with you today was just incredible. To be able to run with my wife and my best friend out there like that, just to be with you, it's just like, wow, this is such an amazing experience that we share the same values. It was cool. And I think that's very important in a relationship that people share the same values, um, especially when it comes to raising kids, when it comes to, you know, feeding your kids, when it comes to feeding yourself. 
um, and working out all that kind of stuff. I think it's I think it's and materialistic values too. You know, if one person's materialistic and one person isn't, you know, there's just so many things that have conflicts on our relationships nowadays. It's just I think we're very fortunate that we're just we just have after 25 years, I guess you just kind of like merge together and you mold. <laughs> We've molded into what we are, you know. And I gotta tell you, a lot of the stuff that we like now, we didn't like 25 years ago. We didn't like 15 years ago. No. We didn't even like some of the stuff 10 years ago. No. But it just seems like we've just grown together to to like things, and you know, and it's really great because I think it's made us better people, uh, without a doubt. Sure. So. Better relationship. Yeah, better, better relationship, healthier relationship for us, for our kids. I mean, our kids see that we're just happy and that we do things together, and we're and we're active and we eat right and all that kind of stuff. So, awesome. Um, good job, honey. Good Thank job you. on that. Almost that. If I, if I would have known we were that close, I, I would have pushed you to go a little further. Really? Yeah. You know, the reason why we gained some of that, that elevation was because we got lost. Yeah. We got lost. We had to go back up. Yeah. So we only would have probably only had like yeah. 800 or yeah. something. But we got lost and had to go back up the mountain a little bit and catch the other trail. We got lost twice today. Yeah. Speaking of getting lost, I have that uh, one app, Gaia. Gaia GPS. It's a $20 app. I don't get paid from them, but it's a $20 app. And I looked at all the trail running apps, the, the, the hiking apps. All the other apps are like three bucks, four bucks, a dollar ninety nine free. I looked at this and I said, it's twenty bucks. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I hope it's twenty it's bucks gotta better. Be reason. There's a reason why it's twenty bucks and not three bucks. Best twenty bucks I ever spent because I we got lost today. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have gotten lost terribly, but we were off course. And I opened the Gaia and I looked at it and it plotted right where I was. I could see where I'd come from. I had to see where I could go. I had all the trails mapped out in the park we were in. All the trails were mapped out. I was like, perfect. We left. We started going one direction. We got lost again. I opened it up again. Finally, I just, I just held the phone out there as we were running, right? Yeah. And I could see as we're moving in real time on the screen, as we're moving, going through the trails, I was like, this is cool. And I've done that before when I was out snowshoeing and bushwhacking on the mountain and that, uh, where we live. So it really helped us just find our way back. Well worth the 20 bucks that I spent on it. So thanks for tuning in. If you like our videos, please hit like, subscribe, pass it on. You know the deal. Leave us messages. Yeah, leave us some comments, some questions. Have a great day.